Hello. Hey guys. Hey. Thanks for joining us. We're still trying to get all this going over here. So just kind of bear with me for just a second. I'm Kim. And this is Revee. And together we're Twisted, Twisted Grapevines. grapevines. <laughs> um, for so many reasons. Yeah, for so, so, so many nice. reasons. I'm trying to get the screen here. There it goes. There's the bigger one. So we can oh, see. Oh, wow. Hey, there we oh, are. Oh, look, there's the cow, too. We need to name her. What do you think? Well, with the way COVID's been going, I'm thinking my name would be great up there. <laughs> maybe minus the horns. I know, right? Just, yeah. Or may, maybe we'll let everybody, if y'all come up with a name She's for us, you'll have to. I honestly didn't know she was back there. <laughs> <laughs> We usually have the back door, the black door right there. I've never and, seen you um, all before. Yeah. And anyways, um, we usually have the door day. right there that has our wreath that we're working on. And um, we're usually late at night. But <laughs> we, we are have, late night people. That's right. And yes. so we decided to go earlier today because we wanted to have a late night tonight so. together uh, going out with our, our, our husbands and enjoying before they have to take off out of town. But... Um, we have a bay window in here, and so there was a ton of light flooding in, so we moved our door, our freestanding door, over, over in front of it. Yeah, so that so. way you could see as well. So I think that looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can see yeah. before it was just this big, huge glare. That's so. right. So Tanya from Illinois, hello, and hey, welcome for joining welcome. us. Welcome. And um, tonight, pretty up there. I know it's been nice here. Although, yeah, I have to say, the we've humidity had some, is way down. Yeah, we've had some nice Texas weather the last couple of days. Yes, and we just Definitely. found out that just a few minutes ago that our parks are going to be opening up for camping. So I'm going to be headed out that way. Y'all like yeah. the camp, don't you? Yeah. It's been like forever since we've done it. Now, do you do permit? I mean, like with have, the bathroom, a good I, bathroom. I, have, I, mean, I prefer a bathroom. And yeah, you know, soap and water I, I just, and a hot shower. Well, yeah, I mean, but if they have a good place like I that. I say I've done it the other way too. So <laughs> I, you know, I I did that once and no, no, I didn't love it. Yeah, I'm I didn't. thinking one of those monster buses, you know, with like. Seven hundred thousand dollar things. Yeah, but that was nice. That, but that's like glamping, try. not Just camping. That's glamping. I so you never know. You, you, I know. But we've got to try everything, Kim. This is true. We do have no. to try it all. Yes. So what we're going to be making tonight is um, a ladybug wreath. This is a kit that we have. Um, the sign it says "cute as a bug," and then we have this uh, felt ladybug that goes with it. And then we've got some of our ribbon is cut. <laughs> some of us are struggling today. That's all right. That's right. Well, we went fast. We're we not used go, to yes, these early hours. You see, we're still not awake yet. I so. know. We're, we like the later hours. Yeah. But and then these are our four ribbons that we're going to use tonight too. Let's see. As soon as we get them all cut. But that's right. Yeah. So Reve's cutting the ribbons 12 inches, getting it all prepped up. And I just realized, too, that I had not made the wreath form yet, either. So, we, we have a video on the YouTube, ooh, which I need to go grab that, too, real quick, off of YouTube, however the... To link. Yeah. So, you know what you're doing? I'm going to give it a shot. I hope we don't get kicked well, off today. I mean, yeah, no. You know. It's be all good. The last time, yeah, you had... <laughs> The transformer in our Cute. backyard kind of went. That was crazy. Oh, my stars. I'm just getting the link for this guy right here so I could post it. Kim's uh, our technology department. But that's the brains and the beauty behind the That discussion. is not saying much. Seeing how we keep getting kicked off. Well, <laughs> All right, let's see here. Better I'm, here than a bar, right? Well, that's true. Yeah. So true. Okay, so I just loaded up the YouTube channel. That is where what I'm getting ready to do with this. Woo! Can be found. We just haven't even had one yet. Everywhere. I know. Oh my gosh! <laughs> We've been tamed today with tea. So, um, on this right here, we're gonna do six on the top and eight on the outside. So this is a 14 inch frame. And the ones here on the top, I use the crossbars. There's six crossbars. And I just fold it in half, loop through, and then I reach through, and then I pull it tight. So I'm going to do those on the six crossbars. And usually if you pull just one side, it'll tighten real easily. 
you pull both through and then I grab one and yank on it. So and just kind of go through here. I meant to have this all set up. Sorry. We were scrambling. We both went, do you want to go at 6? Do you want to go at 7.30? Or do we want to wait and go later? And I we think we just, it's a personal challenge, and we just wanted to see if we could actually do it. I know, right? So we're not done yet. And not be vain parish. And hey, you know. You never know. We're broadening our horizons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or something. We didn't know we could go live at 6, six o'clock in the afternoon. No, we thought it had to be more like 9. I know. It had to be dark 30. More our time. All right, so once the center ones are done, I just kind of push them in the middle and kind of get them out of the way. So the outside, we need eight. So I'm going to go on the crossbars on two, and then we're going to go straight across here, and then we're going to half each of those. So um, that's pretty easy. Yeah, not too bad. Not like I used to teach, tell you to do. <laughs> when I like calculated the circumference yeah. and I measured it out exactly and said it was one knuckle here and... And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> sure, sure. All right, yeah. so we got the two opposing ones. The half makes it easy. And now we're going to cut those in half. And so I'm going to go right here. I go the bottom two, and then I twist it three times, two, three. And you can put glue on these. Um, if you do them tight, though, you don't have to do the glue. Um, so yeah, they don't move around too much. They usually don't, but be careful, don't you don't do it too, too tight. I've, I've broken one of these before. I have done before. that as well. The but we now know how to use to the broken ones. And then now, so we went on the bars, and then we went half, and now we're going to go half in each of these sections. Yeah, so. it's easy. Yeah. Much easier. You like that number, don't you? That three. The threes. Well, we all tend to like the threes in this business, right? Sure. What are they? The triangle? Mm hmm. That's true. You're working from a triangle. Yeah. Symmetry. My poor students, I teach geometry, and from the, the second quarter is all <laughs> triangles. I mean, it seriously is eight weeks of triangles. And they don't believe me. And I, they're like, how can you do eight weeks worth of triangles? Math with triangles. Surprise! <laughs> you can do eight weeks worth of math. What they call it school. Yeah, right. Yeah. I know. It's funny how you forget these things. <laughs> I know. They weren't. You've been out of school for just a little while. No, yeah. you, we want to forget triangles, well. I think, most of the time. Okay, this is a cool new interface that they're I using like with Facebook. Yeah, on that. It seems like it changes every single time. I know. So Honestly. When we come in on this. It's true. All right. We have some extra ribbon. We're going to use this in the bow. So I'm Along gonna... with the ribbon that we use in. Yeah. So I'm going to put this Keep off on the side. Okay. So what method are we going to do tonight, Kim? Every We seem to change it up. I know. I cut these 36. So they're a yard long. long. Yes, yep. they are. So I was thinking... Um, we do the wooden ruffles. ruffles? Okay. ruffles. So. And if you weren't with us last time, <laughs> the experts and the pros, they kind of put it across <laughs> their chest. Okay, and I have long arms. I but don't have I, long I can't, arms. I can't, this is, I can't do that. I don't know. That's how, if you're an expert at this, it, it's like this. I, neither one of us do it that way. Yeah, we they, they just sit there and they go like this yeah. and then that, boom, it's in. And yep. So, yeah, can't do it. Yep, so. can't do it with you. Yep. So we just, um, we cheat. We put ours on the table and roll it a couple times. Just make like a little roll. Or really fast like Kim. And then <laughs> you put like a little chip clip or something yeah, on there. Yeah, I have one right there. She has the cutest yeah. little. These Dollar Tree, you get six of them for a dollar. They are Super awesome. Cute. And they really do help hold. Yep. And then, yep. And I usually put my phone or something down there as well. Yeah. So you're rolling, making little rolls. That's a big roll. Uh, you like them smaller? <laughs> wow, that's a little roll. Wow. <laughs> I feel like you're talking about my weight right now. Because I've got bigger rolls since thank you, COVID. Thank you, COVID. Oh, okay. my gosh. So pretty much, oh. if you're just joining us, if anything negative at all happens, regardless of what it is, it's COVID. It's COVID. It's yeah, COVID. It's COVID. Yeah. So, all right. I'm going to go back and make some oh, 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 Put your phone. Put your phone. <laughs> hey. Oh, there we go. But see, it still spreads out. It does spread it's still, out. Still, it's still just okay. 
I had the hardest time. Here, scratch it up. See? So you can have a hard area. <laughs> oh, but you didn't clip it. <laughs> Maybe six o'clock really isn't our time. It might be your time, yeah, but it's not my time. And I'm not, I really am not blind, so. Oh, we really awesome. haven't had any juice. I know, not, not at all. That's why we came on early. Which is so sad. <laughs> I know, maybe for two minutes. Even if I had an excuse, had then I don't have an excuse. So. That is so funny. Okay, so this one I've got four here, four here. I rolled it four times. One, two, three, four. And then I clipped it, and then I did the other side, and then I crunched it up in the middle. I just ruffled it up in the middle. So we start on the outside first, and then we do the top. So you can either put it here this way, or you can put it this way. I'm going to go sideways like a bow tie. And you could also do it with the curls down. I think it's a little bit more um, funky if it goes up. And so, and this is kind of a, a fun, flirty little wreath. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay. And we're going to alternate colors. Maybe. One of us is still going to be curling. <laughs> and one of us is going to be finished with this wreath. So, You're so funny. Yeah, we're going to. You're we're gonna, so funny. We're going to see. But, but see, they look like a little bow tie. It makes me look like a pasta. I don't know. It does kind of look yeah. like a pasta. Yeah. And then. And like then the bow tie you, pasta. Yeah. And then when you put them on the wreath, you just kind of spread them out. So, and we're going to alternate every other one. So you're distributing the color evenly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try this again. Hold your. <laughs> so four. You know what? You know how it makes it real. I learned how to do this on the rolls because I kept wanting to have them, you know, scrunch. I mean, a little bit smaller. So. Do you bend them? I do. I fold it down like okay. like that far on my finger. So I just like half an inch. I just fold it down and then I pull it in and then I kind of do it. I kind of keep my hands tight. Oh, my head is like that. That yeah. Isn't that cool? We learn so, something new every day. There you go. And okay. we were here. That's right. To witness. Ah! I'm actually learning something. Sorry. I don't want to end well. Yeah. Well, it's there. so funny because we both we both put it down on the table because I find it just it's just much easier. Don't you hate it though when like you're doing these and you put them in here and you don't tie it enough and, it, and then it, it goes <laughs> and pops out? Yeah. It did that to me earlier today. I'm good at admit that that's happened to me. Happy to today. And then you walk your little fingers in towards the middle. You want to do the boob method. I'm, that, that's, that's, a, <laughs> that's what we coined that phrase. The boob so, method. The boob yeah. method. Because that's what it looks like they're doing when they do it. Actually, maybe I'm just kind of jealous I can't do it. <laughs> or I don't have any boobs to do it. I don't know. But. <laughs> I don't know. I'm out on that one. I know, right? So, personal preference. Yeah. Um, I also feel like this is 36 inches, so... It makes your um, it it makes it nice and full. But yeah. I feel like the people, the professionals that do this, I shouldn't say that because I feel like they're trying to be um, taken seriously. But they don't use as much, you know, mesh as long. They I know. Don't cut it as long. No, I don't think so, they do either. Yeah. And their uh -huh. their curls are looser, which yeah. is fine. And bigger. That's okay. That's fine. There's you know once again like we always stress, there's no right way or nope. wrong way to do it. You just have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Just whatever works best for you. And we both like putting our lunch down on the table to do this. <laughs> so, so, so how's your day going out there? Everybody having a beautiful day, hopefully. Oh my gosh. What? Right. Tell me. This is Marianne from Perth, Scotland. Oh my gosh. Well, she absolutely. would win the prize. Oh my gosh. Okay. You absolutely win the prize. Thank you for joining us. No oh my goodness. This poor thing, she's nothing better to watch. <laughs> that's just sad. Well, maybe it's drinking time over there. And that's oh, why she's watching. well, it's Scotland. It is Scotland. Yes. I mean, so they're, they're in a different time zone over there. Yeah. So, <laughs> another part of the world. Right? Yeah. So, my friend that I teach with, her sister, they, they have a, actually a house in Scotland. Oh. And they like go in this, she's a college professor. That's amazing. And they go over there every summer and. Yeah. Can you imagine that you do? Yeah, I can. I just I looked at Stephanie. I was just like in my mouth open, going, "Wow, that's amazing." I'm your friend. Yes. yes. <laughs> we need a retreat there. I know. We need to go to Scotland and do a re retreat. I have Scottish Irish. I know. You have Irish. Yeah. Some Irish. Irish. Yeah. Really good. My kids are part Scottish. Very good. I like Scottish. <laughs> yeah, I like Scottish. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's okay. Oh. It's cool.
I like the, also, I like the old fashioned too. We really do like the old fashioned. Yeah. We, We've been on a quest to find the perfect old fashioned. Yeah. We found a pretty good one. Yeah, sometimes that bites you. We found that too. What was that one? That it, it's the the smoked pecan. Yes. Oh my a, gosh. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. My daughter lives in uh, Philly, and there's a little bar that she will take me to when I come visit, and I have to say that's a pretty darn good one too. So, but yeah, for locally, we found some good ones. Well, in that one, it all started last summer when we were in New Orleans for Reef Makers. Oh right? my gosh, and we found this incredible bar. It was a, com was it a converted I library? Don't know. That's all we remember. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it could be whatever you want. That was later when we were on Bourbon Street. No, but that was, it was, it was that, that really cool. But we discovered the old fashioned there. It and felt like a Harry Potter. Oh, it thing. did. It was yeah. so cool. It was like an old library kind of thing. Yes. It was very cool. And, yeah. the, and everything about it, like all the beverages and everything was, you know, library yes. So it was very, it was very, aged. it was a lot of fun. Yes. And we're like, pretty sad when your beverage is aged better than you do. Yes. Bring it out there. It was like, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we're doing just fine. We're a fine wine. I know. We are a fine wine. We are. All right. Look at that. We've got the and outside ring. It's she says it's midnight. See, that is more so our time. Yeah, we Scotland. are both super night owls. Yes. So I will say, having some time off work, if I'm in bed before... Oh. Two or three or four. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that I'm doing that though. That's really. I know because if you have to go back to work, um, what time do you wake up? Like four in the morning. Ooh. When I have to go to work, I have to wake up at three. Ooh. The glamour. The glamour. The glamour. Not fun. And then let's see here. Who else? There's Christina from Indiana. Oh, us. Christina, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm excited. Wow. We're getting mm. lots of. All over the place. That's kind of fun. So this kit right here, we well, we've got to give the backstory. So if you haven't joined with us before, so she, it's only a one hour show pumpkin. I know, right? <laughs> well, it's gotten kind of more. <laughs> so we um we have for when we were at Reef Makers Live last year, we came up with this idea to have these wreath and wine parties. Hence, that's yes. why we mention alcohol every now and then, or wine, this, that, and the other. Um, and we were going to have these parties, and we had just started having a few of them. And um, we're, we're in the process of getting a storefront and doing all this other stuff when COVID, COVID. yeah, COVID happened. Bum, 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 bum. And so we had all these wreath kits that we were going to use on these wreath parties. And so we had all this material left just kind of sitting in our storage going, all right, we've got to do something with it. So we um, ended up doing this virtually and so that's why occasionally you know we may have some technical problems because we're still learning that into the whole thing yeah. but we're, we're doing virtual wreath and wine parties and um but these are these are kits that we have on oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> so uh we have these in the etsy store i need to put the link up there for you this one i didn't post because we came on early and it shot our wheels off but um fall it off a little yeah right but we're gonna get them right back up on the wagon again we've got a really cute one we did a couple saturdays ago what do you see the, the ice cream thing uh, i think it's, okay, it's probably on the floor hang yeah. on let me, let me put this in okay oh and really quick what we are doing we're all <laughs> turning back them to up this here. just for a moment just, <laughs> right. please hold yes, that back, but back to this you're right um Yes, we we've, we've done a patriotic kit. We did um, a magnolia kit for being back here. I know, right? For oh, here's the dog kit. Because ah! I'm falling over. We did the cute little. You've had me at love. Oh. So here's the dog kit. There's mm -hmm. one. Right there. You had me at Wolf. This is in our Etsy store, so you can either purchase the wreath itself or the kit. And it comes with everything you need to make it. I thought we had one. Uh, we, oh, we don't have it made up. I have it because I took the I took the thing off of it. Okay. Well, just just to show you. Um, ah, it's stuck on everything. The home is on the door. If you want to grab the home. Oh, there is. The, okay. The that was the first one we made. That's this. The and prototype. This the last one that we did. Yeah. With the magnolia and the magnolias. And that kit and wreath is also available in the shop. Yes. So pretty. 
And then this is the one, it doesn't have the, um, the burlap ice cream cone. Right. This is the, the base of it. So you get the mesh and the ribbons and everything. So that's this one. But where did that burlap ice cream cone go? Yeah. It's so it's hard. Yeah. Oh. So that's the burlap ice cream cone. And it has a big bow with cherries that go on it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at the cherries. They're so stinky cute. Amazon. <laughs> no. Love Amazon. So anyways, that's oh, kind of what we've been much. working on. And we've got, oh my gosh, we've got a sunflower one that's that coming. Yeah. That's we have so all these great cool. ideas. We've got sunflowers. We've got a bee one. What else do we have? We have a strawberry. Oh, the strawberry has a black strawberry on it. It's so cute. It's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah. So we have all those fun things. Because so we, we had to take our wreath and wine parties. Virtually. Okay, I hear the fan on my laptop running, so you guys let us know if you can hear us. If you're hearing okay, because one of our first lives we did, it came on. We've bought, um, we've got a new microphone, external microphone, so we're hoping that does it. Alleviate a few issues. Oh, Sam says hi from the living room. Oh, hey, Sam. Woohoo! That's Mr. Beckmeyer. Please raise a glass. That's right. Yep. Hi from the living room. That's awesome. <laughs> You're so funny. Yep. We've got the best husbands. We really do. Best support. Honestly, our crazy yep. venture. They just, <laughs> they just kind of hang on. Yeah. Yep. We're like, let's do this, and they're like, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to Renee's house to play, or I'm going to Kim's yep. house to play. Yes, because we're in the grotto, grotto aka garage. But it's really nice. She's got part of it. She's. Turned into her. If you can see all the ribbon and the mesh and yes. the little doodads, it's, it's kind of amazing. It's, it's, it's almost like walking into Hobby Lobby. So, I think it's better. So, what kind of Hobby Lobby do they have in Scotland? Scotland. I have to I wonder what kind of resupplies. I know. Yeah. And let's see here. Christina says, How much are the kits? The kits, um, they are, what are they, 49? Mm hmm. And includes everything, including the handmade burlap pieces. Yeah. Uh, the home one has three magnolias in it. Mm -hmm. So um, it includes the ribbon, the wreath form. I mean, everything, everything you, see. you need to make a wreath. The is directions. In. Yeah. 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 Just, All that stuff. Just not us. Yeah. But you get your video. Yeah. You can watch this again. It's true. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, if you're brave. Right. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> Is this the last one? I think so. There's nothing left on the Oh, here's a green one. I kept thinking we were short one. Okay, so I was. I was hoarding it. Uh oh, did we miss one? We did. Did we? We did that last time, too. I know, we did, didn't we? Yeah. We get to talking. And we haven't been working yet. Not at all. I know. Ice tea. I know. Ice tea. We've been good. Yeah. You know, that's everything. Yeah. We are really good. We're, I mean, like, we're not, yeah. We're yeah, not. when we do these wine and wreath parties, it's you gather a group of your friends or family. And you, it's just social You time. bring what you like, and we mm -hmm. will help you, and you pick the wreath kit you want to do, and we just help you put it together. That's right. Yeah. So, that's, that's what we're good for. Yep. Mm -hmm. We will. We don't have the money. We, we don't. <laughs> They do, and yeah. they've had lots. <laughs> it's fun. It's been quite yeah. fun. Sometimes I know. you help a little more than, yeah, you know, <laughs> others. It's fine. You really want to learn this, don't you? No judgy. No judgy. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only halfway doing it. You are. You're like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> just hit something about, you know, I right? do the walking to see, <laughs> you know, it's a family show. It is a family so, show. Yeah. Nobody, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> yep. Yep. So how many people did we just lose now? I know, right? <laughs> oh. And our husbands have and no idea Sam what we're talking about. I sitting in the living room going, oh. I know. Yeah. I, I Sam, you got to get rid of that chick. Yep. She's something up with her. Sam says he likes our, our towel behind oh. us. I know. Which is surprising for Maggie to have a towel, but you know, it's, I know. But we got we to name the cow. She needs a name. She's got some friends Bossy. here up here. Same. I just, my little granddaughter looks at her and goes, moo. 
<laughs> my 20 something mm. stepson, we were in the car with him a couple of years ago doing a road trip, and he does not love being on road trips and in the car and in the back seat. And this is not doing a road trip, right? Yeah, he's like six feet, just bored out of his mind. And I'm like, Randy, look, there's cows. What does a cow say? And he's like, <laughs> I think I laughed for about three states. You could tell he just was so unenthusiastic about, <laughs> about, about the cows. I was trying to keep it fun, but I don't know how they became fun. Something old, so it's fun. Are we supposed to entertain them? I, they, they can be very entertaining. We can, yeah. That can go both ways. If you listen to what they're saying, and that's if they talk. Half the time, that age group doesn't ever talk to one another. <laughs> It really it's is. Weird. It's weird. We have, we have quiet children. <laughs> All right. So what I am doing right now, <clears throat> pardon me, is I'm getting our sign ready. So I cut the um, rope off at the top. You can save the rope, but it's kind of a thick rope, so it's kind of hard not to do. Ooh, I've got to do this. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to see how thick this board is. It looks to be, what, about 3 16? Something like that. Is it like a 12 by... Um, yeah, 12 by 12 by 6. six? Yeah, 12 by 6 signs. So, um, you don't, I'm, I'm going to use a staple gun to put the ties on it. And I don't want it to go through. So, which I've done. So many times. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to layer up about three, three layers of this. I may not need it, but better safe than sorry. I have quarter inch um, staples in there. They're the tiniest I've ever found. I, I know some people have found smaller, but I haven't. And I, I just put one on each side. Do you do four? Or I used to do four, do but one. I just do yeah, one on each side. On each side. Yeah. So hold your ears. It's gonna be loud. Ah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. That went Did it? No, I meant it. It didn't go through. It didn't come out. I think there's staples in there. Just put some. In there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Please hold. It's really loud. I should have been this before. It's all good. It's not coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe not. I have been making a lot of wreaths lately. Yeah, she's... Yep. Um, Kim has her own Etsy store, and I do as well. She's uh, being a and grit, and so she works tirelessly making ah! custom orders. Hey, Linda! Hi, Linda. <laughs> And, and I have my own Etsy store too, which I guess that leads us to how we started doing this. It's so funny. Kim and I have known each other for many, many years. We had kids about the same age and went to church together and did a lot of activities together. And, you know, kids grow up and they do their thing and you kind of separate and do your own thing and go your separate ways. And we sort of ran into each other again. <laughs> Crazy. I said, hey, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm making race. I'm like, oh, me too. So we kind of joined forces and kind of come up with some of these creative, we think creative, we hope we think creative as well, ideas. Oh, I know what had happened. This guy was out. I didn't have the right staples for it, so I had to go back to my old one. Bye. This big Got heavy you. dude. I used to use this one back when I was doing some upholstery stuff. But it does look intense. It, it is intense. This is really loud. Yeah. So now I remember why I can get that one to work. I got it. That one only takes like the um the exact. You can't buy just a generic um you have to staples. Use, mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to use your bonders. So that was when I got at Hobby Lobby. So I got to get Work. and and I bought them, but there's no telling where they are in this room because this room is a big hot mess. So. Yeah. You stay super busy, for sure. But school is out. Yep, she's a school teacher. Oh, so. summer. Mm -hmm. i got to get a little bit more paperwork in, and then I'm done. I finished classes today. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it about so killed sorry. you, but you got it done. I know. I moaned and groaned these last two days. It's, it's been a lot. It has been a lot. Okay. All right, so there we are. So, that's a bug. Right okay, so the sign's done. Do we want to take care of the bug too first? Yeah. Before we start putting all this on? Yeah. That might be a good idea so we can decide what we're going to this person. But you know what? I'm going to have to go into the house and get the pit. Because I took it in there when I made stuff. 
Okay, so you do ribbons. Oh, all right. Well, I'll be right I, will, back. I will start adding ribbons then. You okay. can do that. So, thank you. I'm sure, we're just dropping stuff right? left and right. So, um, yeah, as Kim said, we like to we take a one and a half inch ribbon coordinating, and then our two and a half inch ribbon, and we're going to put these two together, and then we're going to put this one and a half inch with our line and the ladybugs. So. You're just kind of distributing the colors all around the wreaths because you want to put it all the wreath as much as possible. And let's see. So how I do, McKim does a little bit differently. Again, personal preference. No right, no wrong. She takes. I take the ribbon and I fold the good side together and I fold it in half. And then I take whatever ribbon I'm using to coordinate and I do the same thing. And then you kind of sandwich them together. Make like a little pocket. I think their dog just escaped. And then uh, you pinch them in the middle. Just like that. And we'll see if I am long enough to be able to put this. Look who I found. <gasps> Marley Mouse. Oh. Marley Mouse. Look how cute. Okay, look, you gotta say hi. You say hi? Say hi. <laughs> I know, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? It's all good. It's all good. You know, she's. You got your your dancing. It's a sloth. It's it's a sloth. It's a ballerina sloth. sloth. Love the sloth. Can you say hi? Look, Marley, who's this right here? Is it Phil? What does he say? Mm -hmm. She's getting really quiet. It's okay. Okay. She knows we're filming. All right. I'm not gonna take her back. She's making her debut. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once again, also personal preference, we usually start from the outside I ring. I don't know why, we just do. If you want to do the inside ring, that's okay too. But on these outside ribbons, we, we, we kind of pull them down so that they sort of fan out a little bit so that you can see all of your colors. And then we will take the next one and go to the next tie. She was talking away when I took the Of course she was. And mm -hmm. then she got in here and stopped. I know. Then she put that on. There's a little bit of a hum. I was listening on Sam's there? phone. But it's it's not like other it was, it was the other day when we couldn't hear them all. Well, we bought um, a microphone and we did that help. So I'm moving the mic just a little bit closer to see if that helps too. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any is that how you would have done it? Mm -hmm. Because you went with the stripes and the stripes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now that you're here, you can be stripes. Okay. I'll be a little bit. Okay. Yeah. It's fun doing it together. I know. I can split up the way. Although this is fun for us. I wonder if I put that over laptop to the side for the lesson how much the Kim's our technical department I think I said that before that is a hot mess I'm married to an IT guy he just kind of rolls his eyes at me we all have to be good at stuff and maybe kind of bad at stuff so I accept yeah, my, why isn't he doing all of that? I accept my limitations. Our IT stuff. Because you're doing such a good job. No, I, no, obviously not if I can't figure out this stupid sound thing. You know. I think this is kind of different today. Yeah. Know? He's not, he doesn't know do Facebook Live. It's I know that I kept pulling the okay. Facebook. Facebook. Imagine a guy not doing Facebook Live. the Facebook. Yeah, that's not his forte, really. So did you explain about the pipe cleaners and how they're skipping out and... Well, no. I just okay. explained how we, every other tie we put the ribbons in and how, the, how we sort of started, how we kind of fan them out on the outside okay. ring and how we'll make more of a little X on the inside ring. Again, just so we can see. So, yes. So when you fan these out, you have a, a choice of the what to do with them in the middle. So, let's see here. Um, you can either roll them down, like I usually fold them about one digit, like here, 
I'll, I'll roll them there and then roll them again. If you think you're going to be like putting some um, uh, like tubing or something in there, you want to leave them out. Or if you're going to be putting florals, uh, you want to leave them long until you're done. Because like here in Texas, it, it gets so hot that you just don't use hot glue because it'll fall off. Well, you can. You can, but, but they'll fall, fall off. off. <laughs> So you, you really have to secure and wire everything in. Yeah. And actually, I had sold a wreath to someone the other day, and before she bought it, she had inquired. She goes, do you wire everything in? And um, I went, well, yes, I do, yes, because always. Texas is so super hot. Mm -hmm. And she said she had bought a wreath on Etsy and that it had um, it sign had fallen off. So oh. anyway, she wanted to know. So I'll show you really quick. So if you do decide to cut them, which a lot of times I do, I leave about an inch right there. So I cut off these. I kind of keep those in case I need them because that's what I tie stuff on with. And then I just roll it once and roll it twice and then just kind of tuck them under. And there we go. And then you want to, because these are wired, you just curl them down at the bottom. Yeah, we always use wired ribbon. Yeah. We, um, we do, I will say we do try to come up with creative kits and we also use really quality stuff because the better stuff is just easier to work with. Yeah, you get mesh, spoiled. Oh yeah, the mesh is just, you know, the ribbons, the yep. market, and get our, our supplies. Exactly. Yeah. I think better stuff is easier to work with. Yeah. And, it just and we have someone from mesh. Illinois and that's where we, that's where Craig Bachman and all of them are in Chicago. And that's where they go to Dallas Market. We're here in Dallas, so uh, we're we're actually Arlington, which is between Dallas and Fort Worth. We can stay the on the stay. Yeah, right. Here we are. Jerry World. But it's been nice not having all that traffic here as of late. Boy, there there is a difference, it's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. But that's where we're getting ready to have all of our graduations. Graduations. Yeah, for June 4th, we're starting graduations and all, like, so many school districts are doing Globe Life Park and... Because it's the big, it's a big yep. stadium. Mm -hmm. Limiting how many people can come, all that stuff. Yeah, Texas is opening up, you know, slowly but surely, but I feel like we are definitely opening up and we kind of moved ahead maybe more so than other states. A little quicker, so, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I know my daughter in Philly, she's very young, we're still... They will let you in if you don't have a face mask on, and which is, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand. Completely yeah. understand. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. But it's be safe. They just announced in Grand Prairie today that educators are considered essential workers, and therefore we get to have the testing done to see if. Oh, if you carry virus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of a good thing. I mean, I can see that. Around a bunch of kids and a bunch of people. Right. And I have no idea. I mean, there's a lot of talks about what they're going to do this fall as far as school. I don't know what they're going to do yet. A lot of talk about hybrids, a lot of talk about. Um, kind of yeah, and about maybe doing online till December because they're talking, you know, vaccines should be ready by then. So, no telling. No telling. Just have to wait and see. Yeah. So Linda, she's um, in my groups with me. She's been learning all the technology stuff as well. Yeah. So I, I aspire to be candy because I think I think that's <laughs> well, I think you're doing pretty well. Yeah. Doing my learning curve's been fast and curious. But with school, the end of school, I haven't had enough time to really kind of focus. Yeah, it's been on a lot of the details. It's been more crazy. Get it, you know, just putting it out there, trying to get stuff done, and we'll work on the other side of it. Yeah, <laughs> but now that school's over, I'm not sure if you've noticed we've started uh, filling in around the top ring now, or the inside ring, and as you can tell, we've kind of started doing these in little crosses, little X's. So that you can see the ribbon. Why do we always do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we've just <laughs> truly nauseated them now. So, yes. Okay, we always have to do a dance move because 
backstory. She and I were both dance girls, so we were in high school drill team, not together, but different. Yeah. But um, as we just a few years ago, yeah, that's right. As we got older, um, we would do at our church these music camps where we'd have like a hundred. What, first through sixth graders? Yes, 100 plus. And in a week, we would teach them like six dances, and then they perform it for Father's Day. Yeah, it was, it was, it was kind of crazy. Was and then I coached dance team, and she would judge, and we would choreograph for one another. And so that whole dance thing, so when we do dance stuff, that's kind yep. of where that's all coming from. <laughs> Right. Or little Marley, my little granddaughter's dance. Oh my moves. gosh. Yeah, I love that. I was like, did you teach her that? No, yeah, I did. It's that. like a little salsa move. She even did that little Helen who we were down at the, the river this weekend for my brother's 50th birthday. And so Helen, who owns Buchanan Cabins, she comes over and she's so little. But she's <laughs> in her 70s, Aww. late 70s, and you know, snow white hair. Just, I want to grow up and be her. But she came around to see Marley, and so she's like, going, so Marley, are you going to dance for me? And Marley starts bouncing. And she's and like, okay, sure. And doing her salsa thing. It was, was so cute. Like, I can't believe she did it on demand. Oh, was this one more? Yeah. Okay. I don't know why this one was super short. <laughs> oh. So, and so was this one. So, oh, there's our little one. I wonder if those were the extra ones. Probably on the very end of the mm -hmm. roll. So. A couple at the very end of the roll. So we um, leave one or two open usually because that's where their bow is going to go and you don't want to waste ribbon. So well, we, don't. we don't. I mean, some people do. Some people just like to, you know, go at it and not have to think about leaving anything open, but I hate to waste good ribbon. So we, we leave our comment section wide open, but we try not to leave ribbon wide open. <laughs> is that a nice segue? Do you like that? Like that? And I'll this one and roll down in case we need to do anything. All right, you up for the ribbon and making the bow? Mm -hmm. Sure. Are we doing a funky bow? Of course. I, I like the funky bow. The funky All right, so here's what we have so far. Thank you. Yeah. I, like I think that's really cute. I like, I like the colors. colors. Not a lot of people put the green with the ladybug. I like the well, green. Well, but it was kind of in ribbon, so oh, that yeah. helps too. We kind of try to follow, you know. There was a yellow and a ladybug ribbon this year that I thought was cute too, but green's my favorite. I did see that with the little Swiss dot on the end. That was yeah. kind of cute though. I love green with the black and white though. It's, it's cute. Kind of face. But again, it's whatever, you know, yeah. whatever you like yeah. is good. All right, let's see. I know we had ribbon on the floor. Excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, did I not get a point? Don't get <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's space. I know, right? <laughs> We didn't leave the wine down there, did we? No, we, we didn't. We were bad. We did not prepare well enough. <laughs> we, we said in the beginning we were going to try to come up with words for each show, and we have to do cheers. We have to do a toast. Yeah, right? I don't think we've done that yet. So. Oh, well, we kind of did with the COVID one, the first one. Maybe so. That was nerves, though. Yeah, that was so nerves. There was a whole oh my gosh. difference on the nerves there. That was. So. That was a lot of fun. It's, yeah. Fine. We were we were dancing on that show. Oh. We were having a good time. Like that I one. said, nerves. Ah, it was <laughs> nerves. <laughs> we were we were giggling. Oh, so nice. yeah. Gotta have fun. Exactly. All right. So what we do on funky bow is and I do them by hand. Kim likes to use the easy bow maker, and she has it's personal preference. Um, you do kind of get a little bit of a cramp in your hand until you. I've done it some. Okay. Oh my god. I know. I know. Right? Just alike, so. But yeah, all the ribbon that we used in um, the wreath, we'll also use in the funky bow, and then we can add extra stuff to it. So we kind of like these little pickle dots to look cute with it, and of course, you know, the really bugs. So funny, I hate bugs, but I think these guys are really cute. Who doesn't love them? I know, they're so sweet. Except for my daughter. What? Yep, she hates Even bugs. Even ladybugs? She hates they, bugs. They're like the good bug. They eat. I know. I think they're sweet. They eat aphids. She's, she's, yeah, aphids. Is that, is that the right word? Did aphids, I say? I think they do. I just kind of went for memory right there. Word. Don't ask me to spell it. <laughs> That's kind of, I actually was thinking about it. You were, yeah, weren't you? you no, know, it's all good. All right, so, I digress. <laughs> um, Getting back to the bow, I like to make a tail. Not, you know, not too long, really. Whatever you want, easy. I'd say this one is 
This is 13, 13, 14 inches, but it's a circumference. And it also depends on the size of the, the reef that you're making too. But I pinch it between my fingers. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. And then I make a bunny ear. So you make a loop. Bye. Forever goes over again. We're back. Oh, hello, Molly. She's done. And I make a 12 inch loop. So I measure that one and that. And then I pull it to the back. And pinch together. I feel a little feet coming. What are you doing? I made a loop. Yeah. Oh, she's ready. This is out. I love you, girl. Oh, <laughs> she's like, excuse me. Oh, you want me to pick you up? <laughs> Can you hold that for me? Okay. <laughs> she's back. What are you doing? All right. It's her first bunny ear. The first ear? The first ear. Like, she's hot and she's wanting stuff. She likes it. Yep. She, she likes, wants to get stuff. She likes all the things. Mm -hmm. It is a, a candy store for everything mm -hmm. people in here. What do you want? And I'm just going to go back and forth. So I made a, a loop up here. So I'm going to pinch this together. I'm watching Sam as a test lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got it. Yep. Got it. Yep. And I'm going to measure up my 12 inches and bring it to that. And then, woo! Yeah. Yep. My bunny ears. Nice. Nice. You got it. All right. Okay. I'm going to let you get a view. You ready for a view? Okay. Good Woo! Good one. We almost lost the mic. <laughs> Bye, Marley. <laughs> she, like, uh -huh. she did so good on the river this weekend. Oh, you'll so have to tell the story. Bye, baby. She is so good. There it is. So far, two little, two little loops. Do you want to touch the sign while I'm doing this? Sure. Oh. No, I I can't do this. It's oh, sure, you can. This is easy. All right. So we do. Can you need to pop this. Yeah, thank you. I think I'll do that one next. So we just try to whatever you like. I'll probably do a couple of these because it's so cute. But I didn't want to put them right together. I now with this. the the tails and stuff, is there a reason why one's longer, shorter? Um, usually the longer ones I try to keep towards the bottom, but okay. you also need some cute little tails at the top of the bow as well. So that's that's kind of my okay. reason. Now with these, I will say the one and a half inch can I both like to make them a little bit longer. But it's the same process. You just pinch it in the middle, lay out your 12 inches, make it 14, you go. And I'll probably make this a little, just a tiny bit smaller. Because it's one and a half? Because it's one and a half, so I don't usually make them fly at this time. Mm -hmm. But again, that's personal preference if you like the look of, if it matches the whole rest of them, it's all good. You do you. Do you. We are all about you do you. That's so fun. I'm fine. We try. Swiss thought, that's like one of our favorite ribbons. Mm -hmm. We do. We do a lot of Swiss, Swiss thought and bingham and yeah, some of our favorites. We need to go. Can I get fun? I was looking for the zip. I have to hide this from Marley. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to hide this from Marley because she likes to play. Pick up sticks with these. Oh, but you don't. No. That's not your favorite. Because Molly's not very good at picking up yet. <laughs> <laughs> she's learning that. She's, she's good she's at going. really good at going. Yeah, right? Yep. Who's that? Oh. Linda's going, she's still here. Linda, every time I see your name, the smile on your face. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I was looking to see. Oh, see, I have them in the green. Can you see that little one? See how they're like off? Oh, yeah. There's not a uniformity to That's them. That's cute. Yeah, and they're not like the. Well, I want to say, I think that was me this year, too. Yeah, because I got them in turquoise, I got them in green, red. I didn't use them. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want this one? Back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, and then you did the black stuff. Oh, I think it's all right. <laughs> oh, and then this one too? Oh. Here, you know what? I'll do that next. I love that one. Super cute. Probably yeah. just grab. Yeah. Make it we make it work. Right. So any of you guys where you are, where you live, have y'all state started opening up some? We went down to the hill country this past weekend and on Memorial Day and we pulled up to this one place to fit in to do tubes and there were so many cars. I've never seen that many. It looked like there was a rock concert or something, outdoor parking. And there were enough people waiting that would fill up three buses. It's it, crazy. And and my husband and I looked at each other and we're like, we don't care if it's my brother and his friends and all that. We're going back and we're going to go in our little private river area and um, we're not going to do the float trip today. Because it was that was what Saturday, mm -hmm. and we were like, uh, uh, we're not doing it. And as we drove back past another float trip place, they it was same thing. I mean, just I think people were just so ready to, you know, they're tired of quarantine life, yeah. and they're just so ready to kind of get back to normal again. And but they all said while they were on the river that you couldn't even move because your your tubes were butting up to other people. Yeah, and one that's, that, that's not fun. But two, the fact that that's too many darn people, and I mean that's just scary. Were you surprised? I, I really was. Yeah. I thought I thought more people would have restraint, like. We turned around, you know, and didn't go. But the next day we went, and it wasn't near as crowded. So we did do a float trip that day. And then, of course, when we left on Monday, um, we wanted to say another day, but we had work the next yeah. day. Um, but uh, the next day, oh, my gosh. And it had stormed the night before. It was beautiful. And there were no cars. I mean, no one was there. And Easy. Yeah. And Sam and I, when we usually go, we go during the week. We don't go on the weekends mm -hmm. anyway. But, oh so that probably alone was just yeah. to the yeah. system. Yeah, we're not used to that many crowds. But even, so. yeah, even the restaurants and stuff, and the, like we went to HEB, and it was, there were a ton, yeah, there were a lot of people. And there weren't a single mask down at the river. Really? Not that's, a single that's a one. Bit of a and there were even park rangers at the restaurant and all that stuff. And you're like going, this is over 50% capacity. But, you know, maybe it wasn't. Maybe. Were they able, do you think they're able to? How would you enforce something I don't like know. that? See, that, I think that I right know. there is, I don't. Well, and that's what, you know, well, and that's what we're worried about with graduation. I mean, what if someone, you look at them and say, I'm sorry, you don't have a mask on. You can't go in. Or. I'm sorry, your temperature's too high. You can't go in. I mean, they're going to go in. Who's going to stop them? You know? I mean, this is just a tough, tough situation. Yeah, it really is. It's kind of weird. It's kind of, you know, because even today, you know, we ran errands and, yeah. you know, we're pretty good with having our masks, but I, I'm seeing less and less. Yeah. I'm seeing less and less. So, it, yeah. Or here in Texas, yeah. or at least in the area we live in. Mm. Um, and Norma, she just joined us from hey, Alabama. Norma. Hello. I sent a week to Alabama. Did you send one there last week too? Uh, Atlanta. Okay. Woohoo! That's looking really pretty. I could do one more. And then I'll do the black one on top. That is so pretty. She makes the best bows. So, I think it. I watch I think, videos. That's what <laughs> I do. Right? I watch, it's not ours, right? but yeah. I mean, I think we think the bow, but yeah. 
I love your bows. They're okay. more structured. Well, I like the I like the menaceness of this thing. Well, and that's what they call the funky bow. That's right. not my my name for it, but I, I mean, even my funky bows have order. I mean, they're just like I love how you go and you go. Oh, I need, I need this color, or I need one of this width. I know. just look at it and go, hey, I can sort of like this, or I kind of like yeah. that, and I don't know. <laughs> I like it. I guess I just like it. When it gets big and, big and bold enough, I guess. You know, you know, them. But yeah, I try to bring the little loops to the top as best I can. And then the tails, we call these tails, to the bottom. So we do kind and of you have some short tails to the yeah, top. Yeah, and then I try to put these towards the top and the longer ones towards the bottom. So. And then this is just fun. We actually got this in the Christmas section. I tell so you, you I, never know when yeah. you're going to get your good ribbon. And a Hobby Lobby, because. See, I have three because I bought, I had three of these. I wish I had more. Um, yeah. At Christmas, buy up all their sparkles, you see, especially when it goes half off, mm -hmm. but anything that sparkles, because I have all those striped ones over there that have like the gold with the navy in it or gold, silver with the blacks and just, you use them in everything. We have actually the bugs. Mm -hmm. It looks really cute with the bugs. Yeah. Freaks that we've done. It really does. I love this stuff. And it's got kind of a mesh grain to it as well. So, this yeah. is fun. You wouldn't think so looking at it, but it really does go with a lot of things. And, um, ooh, probably not brown. I oh, here. Use, oh, do you use pipe cleaner? Do you? I will do whatever you want. I know some people love the zip ties. Well, I haven't worked. I can do want. zip ties. Um, at, at home, when I do my reefs, I use um, the wire, the floral wire. Oh, do you? Yeah. I have that over there. I, I'll do pipe cleaner. I think most people can know. Chenille stems. Chenille stems. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. All right. But anyway, I learned you flip the bow over and then you raise your little pointer finger and then you take the pipe cleaner or wire or whatever you do and just wrap it around and then just try to pull it really, really tight. You can get the ribbon out of the way. Super, super tight. And then I take the whole thing and it's great. Cool. The more you twist and the tighter it gets, the more the bows, the little loops will pop. All right. Okay. And then we'll, and then we'll try to kind of slip them up. Yes. Oh, there's someone who came in here. Maxwell says he's looking at doing wreath parties too. How fun. Uh, but there are a lot of tools you need to get. A lot of tools, yeah. In order to start. I agree. Um. Yeah, we were looking at a location. Yeah. Um, we, the wheels on the bus were starting to turn. And yeah. Then, yeah. So we're, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens after all this is over. Sooner, hopefully, rather than later. And we were using these bags to put their kits in. We, we would show up and we'd have their kits with their names. Mm -hmm. And um, we started out at craft stores, uh, Gracie Lane. We did. Two. Several parties there. Yeah, and then we were doing some in homes, and that's when we used the bags and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we did buy several easy bow makers, yep. and the pegs never stayed in. Um, let's see here. What else did we buy? Let's Got them all like 40% off at Michael's. I'm trying to think. What else did we buy? But we ended up getting most scissors. of our stuff. Yeah, yeah. scissors. All the of all places. Yeah, they yeah. had like a four-pack for, you know, five five or six dollars. Yeah. That's where these big old giant ones came from. Yeah. I'm trying to think, what else did we do? Yeah, lots of stuff like that. Hot glue guns. Yeah, hot glue guns, the little cheesy we, ones. We try not to do too, too much hot glue, mm. but you know, every once in a while, just to make sure your flower sticks in or you know, whatever. Or if you need to have the it tightened on the frame, the, the chenille stems. Yeah. Sometimes they sleep a little. And Miriam from our Scotland girl had to go to sleep, but she oh, said she would catch us. Yes, on the all weekend. right. Well, sweet dreams. Thank Bye. you so much for joining us. I, I am honored. I know, right? That's, that's been that's awesome. So fun. But we love all of you. Thank you for being with us and watching us and supporting us. That's and fun. we hope that you can share. And, you know, that looks you, so good. You've learned a little something. You like yeah, it? I really like Thank it. you. It's so much good on there. It's fine. All right. So what I'm going to do real quick is get the, no, you're fine, is get this guy ready. So I use an ice pick 
This is what I use for my boxes I'm too. To find one of those. Really? Yeah. Walmart. I found mine at Walmart. And so I kind of I kind of bend it backwards a little bit. And so I'm gonna put I kind of thread it just like a needle. It's like a little interfacing yeah. in there. And then I jiggle it back and forth. It's foam. Yeah. Um, so hopefully that's going to be bad enough for it to go right through. So, okay. yeah. so we're going to go right there, and then I'm going to get down here to do that little. And it doesn't have to be super deep. I mean, you don't want it to go deep because you certainly don't want it to come out on the other side. So if you bend it the opposite direction, it kind of gives you a little bit more leeway. And there we go. And just thread just it through. through. Got a little yeah. sparkle on that one. Right. Glitter. Imagine you know, that glitter on this table. Glitter everywhere you go. <laughs> I'll get <the> stop now. <laughs> so this one, we have discovered that there's no right way to do this because no. we However did, you can get it to go in. Well, we found um like when we did our uh, some of the parties, some of the ladies like we had it in our mind, it was going to go like this. Yeah, we would. And then someone would do it like this, and we go, "Oh, well, that's cute too." Or they would put a bow here. Every kind of imagination that you would think of. But anyways, which one? And I think, think wine kind of dictates where it goes sometimes too. Most of them. Well, yeah. you know. Completely. So, what do you think? Should we do it the bug down, or should we do the bug? The bug. I don't know. It's kind of cute. Oh, where's the bow going to go? <laughs> I know. Well, I'm thinking that because our open spot was right, right there. there. So, yeah. I so, I so. didn't know whether we wanted it down. What do you guys think? Down. Mm -hmm. Or cross. And the bow right here. Or do you think this guy should go here? And the bow right there. you got to take a bow. No. Because this is, this is your show for you. <laughs> All the pressure goes on me. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to. I think either way it's going to be cute. Pink is fine. That's why I'm looking at the other side. I know. This is, yeah. Let me see if They bring you the big jug of wine and then she'd write her name. Oh, that's right. right. Down. Is that macaroni's I grill? Just, that, that that yeah. <laughs> they would write upside down. That was cool. Mm -hmm. I was impressed. Mm -hmm. That takes time. Maybe that's that's that cute. Way. Okay, we'll go I that way. We'll do that. Okay. All right. That's okay. All right, so I'm going to thread these through. Let's see here. I'm just going that's between. Yeah, I'm going between two uh, two curls, two woodland ruffles. I'm going to tap. You want to save the bow for last. Some people you need it for placement, but I don't want to put it on first because I like to flip this over upside down and make yeah, sure I get my stuff secured, and and then you're going to smush your bow. So I'm fanning we these. Can't have that. No, not if you work so hard. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think that looks good like that. From the upside down perspective. Yeah, right? Okay. Oh, look at it. This guy decided to join this far right. Right? A real bug. My husband hasn't figured out yet that that's his job. Yeah. I don't know. He was. Spring honey, and I go get it. Oh no! Like, you know that's not what you do. No, that's, that's not, not what you do at all. Long response. Oh, yeah. That Oklahoma boy. Um, all right. Now this one, I'm actually hitting a crossbar, which is nice. I always like to get Try at least to. one. Yeah. It just adds a little Yes, and while she's doing that, I'm dead my ears. 
I was thinking the exact same thing. We did. So what we do, when you don't know why they have that, I don't know. But you make this cute little um, edge on your the, the little V. It's it just unraveling. Yeah. Sometimes we do it on the one and a half inch and sometimes we don't. It just depends. But on the two and a half inch, we need to do it to dress it. See, it doesn't fall off. Yeah. That always helps. So you to do a dovetail, just fold it in half, and then you cut either to the wire. That's how I was. Yeah. To say, and I do it the other way. To the wire. Sometimes I've made arrows, and that's actually yes. not a thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So that happens too. If it does, it's no big deal. You just Unless you're in a bow. Yeah. So it's a little too short. Yeah. That happens too. That happens. And then you get creative and how you fix it. Figure it out. You do it a couple of times and then you get fixed. Yeah. It's, it's, I think anything can be fixed. That's one of the things I love about doing these. Yeah. It literally can be fixed. And if it's something that you see, somebody else, chances are, is not going to notice it. So right. If you're happy with it, that's all that matters. This is fun. Kim and I enjoy it. We think it's fun. All right, so I'm, yeah, it's therapy. So I am putting this on here. You don't want to, like, pull it and, you know, suck it down into the vortex of the reef. So. <laughs> too tight. Too, too tight. tight. What was it? Mommy, mommy. What mommy, was that? Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. <laughs> you said that last time, too. I was like, I don't know. I don't remember that. But it makes sense. sense. Yeah, don't pull your puppies down. Too tight. tight. Too how about that these days? It would be too bad because it would like stretch out right. the wrinkles, right? Oh my gosh, that wouldn't be too bad of a yeah. thing, I don't think so. Oh man, I can't remember. I don't know, right? Yeah, it's all good. So I'm trying to think. Is that bad? In there? Yeah, and I will say with Reese, sometimes you have it in your mind where things are going to go, but when you actually start trying to place them in. They don't seem to want to go there. So yeah. sometimes I have been known to just change things up a little bit to see that. Uh, a I little bit, it a in. lot. Yeah. yeah. Change things up a lot. That's right. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Right. Okay, so now we're ready for the bow. For the bow. Same thing, just like you did uh, when you were attaching. I always just go from underneath. Have you found that thing yet? What thing? That, uh, what it is to help attach? Oh, no, but I haven't been to one work yet. Uh, can, can um, talk to somebody that... Oh, has... it was Dawn. It was the, it's some plastic, like, crochet needle. And she hooks whatever she's trying to stick through the mesh. I just weave through the mesh and find openings. Yeah. Usually I come up from underneath and yeah, find it. Yeah, that's exactly what I just did. Yeah. So... And then, just Luff. fluff thusly. Thusly. That's the word. Thusly. Fluff like thusly. I wonder if you have that. I do. That isn't thusly. Yeah. Trying to That's a good speak proper English to a new teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you really want to speak proper English. <laughs> <laughs> it's not abbreviation. It's all usually. Good. It's all good. And then I like to bring my sparkly ribbon to the top. This is called fluffing. She's literally the this. best. Yes. I don't know if I'm a CD. Or I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit there and I'll make all these wreaths and I'll have them up and she'll just go. <gasps> I can't stand it. And she just sits there and goes where I'm, I'm yeah. It's awesome. Where I'm all about just getting it up and getting it out. And she can just come out. Okay, do you mind if I just it off pretty? And I'm like, please. I love that word. Jeez, I, I know. Whereas I don't have like the attention spinning to do that. That's like I don't know what that says about me, but oh, <laughs> that says you're patient, and that's why you deal with me so well. Oh, we have a good time. We have a good time, you guys. If you're in the metroplex and COVID ever ends and life right. gets back to normal again, you guys, please come find us. Soon. Right. We will have fun. You'll learn a little something, hopefully. That's that's our goal. But 
hopefully you all want to devote as much as we do. It's a lot of fun. I love that from Peter. I've got them. We do this a lot. Just, I, just, I thought in the beginning we were just being nice. No, no, I, no, I tell them. I'm not going to pick that up. It's all good. Come back. And I'm going to make the hanger for it. So I just take a pipe cleaner, chamois skin, and I wrap it around my four fingers. And I give it a twist a couple times. And then I'm going to thread it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You feel good. Oops. That turned into a nice big full. It's really good. Yeah. There's 36 inch ruffle ruffle whatever so what i do on the back is i just take the take it down over the two and then i crisscross it and then i wrap it around yeah. you can try to get the metal frame always attached to the metal frame because that's going to be the struggles part of the room. I usually like doing the crossbar, but I this time I did, well, I, I did them in this one. So there you go. So there's your hanger right there. There you have it. Keep wanting to hang it up. I know, but we don't have the door right there today. It's the um, it's the cow. The name is cow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We we'll have to come up with that. You guys are going to have to help us. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, bossy. that's the boss. See, we just got to be, that's, that's too many days. Everybody else has done that. I know. We've got to get a little bit of so, anyways, but that's the kit. That's us doing it. And like I said, they're for sale in our Etsy store. And the other kits are as well. So mm -hmm. if you're just really not into bugs, and I could be fault you for that if you aren't. Um, we've got the magnolia, the dog, the dog, the dog is pretty cute. Yeah. yeah, the sweet liberty. Yes, the patriotic wreath is pretty cute with a little honey uh, yeah. ice cream foam. Yeah, that she made. And then, like I said, we've got a strawberry with the big old burlap strawberry coming up. Yeah, and we haven't done that one yet. That's our next one. Uh -huh. That's the next one. That's the next one. And you're going, yeah, well, you're going out of town. I'm going so. to, we are finally going to move my daughter, who graduated from Arkansas. We are finally going to go and move her out of her apartment and yeah. get some pictures taken on campus. We've rescheduled three times. Yeah. COVID. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> So I think tomorrow is our lucky day. We're going to get that done. So, yeah. So what are we thinking? Monday? Uh, sure. Probably Monday evening. Yeah. yeah. Like, we'll be back until our regular team. I think we'll get it. I think we'll get it. I do too. Yeah. This early stuff. It's fun. It's okay. It's Not okay. as prepared. I don't know. We had, we had, we had a I lot had of fun. fun. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Cute little guests on. Join <laughs> little us. Marley. Our little guests. Marley That's right, because usually she's in bed by the phone. That's true. Yeah. So maybe another reason I for know. a little later. But, um, you know, but it's not really good. I think we had a good time. Yep. I think we came up with a pretty cute little week. Perfect. So you, you guys liked it too. And, and be to sure to share else. if you get a chance. Share, like, and please. I also did our YouTube channel on there as well too. So if you get a chance, go over and subscribe there. We'll be slowly starting to upload these videos to there as well. So. Yeah, under Twisted Grapevine. But we That's have right. to have how many? Oh, we're, yeah, we've got to get up to 100 subscribers before we can get the name. So right now it's a really long name. So. Numbers and letters. Yeah. Like the math problems. Yeah. Which is a problem mm -hmm. for me. Anyway. So, yeah. Right. yeah. We had a good time. You guys, thank you again for joining us. Yeah. And we'll see you hopefully next time. Hopefully next time. So, come wreath with us. Yes. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Ah, and this is very cute. Woohoo! Oh.